straight ahead on the QTN World News. It's 7 o'clock in Greenwich Village, 4 o'clock in the Castro. I'm Steve Kometko. This is the QTN World News. It's an argument that's gone on since, in the beginning, was the word. Do people choose their sexual orientation? You think that you think you gonna... Governor Schwarzenegger is getting it from every direction. Both sides in the fight over an anti-gay marriage constitutional amendment are shifting into high gear. The region's gay community has been left reeling from the storm. You know, it was the biggest blow I've ever had in my life, I'm telling you. They're taping their windows up. They're taking all the breakables away from the windows. They've got plenty of water, plenty of beer. I mean, well, of course they have plenty of beer. Okay, one of the first bars to open after Hurricane Katrina was the Golden Lantern. It's also the place where Southern Decadence Parade begins. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. Well, a lot of people are wondering where Bush is. Where's Bush support? Where is he in all of this? Cheryl Jakes, former HRC president and former Massachusetts state senator. Politics is dictating our lives. It's controlling, you know, who we can share our lives with, whether or not our intimate conduct is criminal, whether or not we can have children, whether we're safe in our jobs, you know, you name it, it's controlling it. The author of the bill, Assemblyman Mark Leno from San Francisco. I've always believed, and I currently believe, that you can't lose fighting a just cause and standing up for what you believe in. We're in a battle for what kind of country we're going to live in. Today, people all across the world are wearing their red ribbons in support of World AIDS Day. Over the past decade, the number of people infected with HIV has doubled, topping 40 million. Tests for HIV AIDS that you can take at home may be one step closer to legality. Swedish researchers say certain types of mouth cancer can be attributed to oral sex. But Cheryl Swoops came forward and opened up about being a lesbian. In Philadelphia, the victim of a gay bashing is cleared of murder charges. Dawson turned the tables on his three attackers and using a pocket knife stabbed and killed one of the thugs. I've already got punched and kicked and I, 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 was, I got stomped on the ground. And I just, I, I felt a wave of strength and I just jumped up really fast and pulled out my knife and started swinging. Gay rights activists in Russia, they say they hope to hold Moscow's first ever gay pride parade next May. This event will show that gays are not perverts, as many things. In Moscow, I'm Anya Ardaiva for QTN World News. It was pointing out a list of people, including Anderson Cooper, Shepard Smith, Jodie Foster, and others, who have played coy. The very fact of your sexual orientation is not a private thing. But is it upon you to determine if it's a private fact for other people? Live from San Francisco, she joins us live from Albuquerque, New Mexico, in Hollywood, Sergio Quintana, QTN World News. Laura Iyama, QTN News, Washington. Catherine Drew, QTN News, in London. Can I, can I curse on this? No, let's not. Okay. Let's not today. <laughs> now, in case you didn't know, Tasmania is an actual state in Australia, not just the name of a Looney Tunes character or the place where Dracula comes from. What's the gay agenda? Getting a facial? Being able to read and write? Who was the first gay man? <laughs> and um, also... Being gay is not contagious, and if you think that it is... You're you have to go to the mountain and see for yourself, and I'll see you on that mountain too. So save me a spot. It's so hot. Do you think there are any gay people that work for JetBlue? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> Scientists have actually been producing gay fruit flies for years, but they warn that flies and humans are so different, you can't compare genetically gay flies and people, at least not until the remake of The Fly comes out starring Rupert Everett. Chris Ann, hi. How you doing, Mr. Jones? <laughs> I'm good, baby, I'm good. That's QTN News for now. You've just been queued in. I'm Steve Kometko. On Q Live, next is, wait, let me read this correctly. On Q Live is next. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable.